Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion. Hey, Lazy Girl Approved fam. I am back today with another wig review. I'm going to be doing some brand name ones, some of mine, some of brand names, you know, kind of going back and forth. So this one is for a Bobby Boss unit. I've had this for a little while and just haven't done it, um, but she's perfect for summer. She's shorter. So this is MLF 911 Kalida, and I have her in two colors, FH1B green and TT4R pink. We're going to start with the FH1B green. She's really cute, really pretty. I have to go back and look and see what I actually paid for her. So, let's get her out of the package. And this lovely lady I have on my head, you can get on my website, lazygirlapproved.com. This is Jay Lonnie. She's gorgeous. She's so soft. So soft. I wore her to a... Um, work meeting conference call the other day and she was a hit so here's the card for Kalita I think it doesn't like it when I'm close somehow for some reason and it comes in all these lovely colors Let's see what she look like she's cute she's soft too super soft super soft all right, let me, let me get a wig grip on. Okay, and I'm actually gonna start selling the ones that I review on my website instead of Poshmark, and at some point I'll move the ones I have on Poshmark still over. But I'm gonna try to start putting them up, you know, relatively soon after I do the review, if not at the same time. Otherwise it takes me weeks, months, you know. Okay, let me make sure I got this where it should be. She's super cute. It's showing a center part. Yes, it's a center part. Uh, let's see what it says. Four inch deep part, natural baby hair, special colors, HD transparent lace. What else? Safe heat styling doesn't say, you know, up to what. She's super cute, but I feel like the length on me is not great because it's like a wave and not a curl, but could just be me being, you know. And I don't like that it's, you know, that peekaboo where, let me see, I guess it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really like super make it seem like the green is in front front, but I'm just trying to figure out why they keep doing this peekaboo. Now, I will say for those that are going to lay down baby hairs and actually, you know, lay stuff down. I, it makes sense. But then again, if I look at this, that is not a great hairline. I don't know what that is. I guess because of the baby hairs. Yeah. But the hairline is super thick. But I could see where if you're going to lay it down and, you know, do the, you know, style it, that... But you'd have to, like, do something, like, you know, to get this green to come out. And if you are not familiar with my channel and what it is, it's literally Lazy Girl. So my thing is, can you take it out of the package and do very minimal work on it and go? Or do you have to, like, do you have to lay it down? Do you have to style it? Do you have to da 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 all right, I like that better. There we go. There we go. I'm telling you, you guys, this stuff is like a miracle in a bottle. It's called Simply Styling. I have it on my website. You don't have to buy it from me, but you can, obviously, and I would appreciate it. But that's not why I say this. I say this because uh, I used it. I bought it from Amazon the first time, and I was in love with it. And so I like it so much that I 
contacted the manufacturer to find out how to sell it myself because I freaking love it. So, um, it looks way better with just that spray. Like it's, it was looking like dull and lifeless. I feel like it's still doing some weird stuff back here. I can tell you right now that I will be selling this on my site because it's just not really my cup of tea. Um, that doesn't mean it's bad. It means the style. So everybody has different lengths and styles that they like, you know, and me and this length curly or well, wavy. I like it curly, wavy. I don't like it. Let me, I cannot remember how much she is. Let me look. So she is now, originally it says 47.29, which I don't think it was, but, um, so it's 31, hold on. Yeah, 31.49. Um, so I'll probably sell it for 20. Um, I'm not going to cut the lace off because I'm selling it. So, um, she's super soft. I wouldn't go so far as to say like silky, silky. She's like almost silky. I mean, she's stupid soft, but just not like, like up here feels silky down here. Feel You can feel the texture. Um, so there's that. She would be gorgeous, you know, if you did something to her which I'm not going to because I'm not, if I, if I liked her more, I would, but I'm just not feeling it. And again, it would be cute if you did something, you know, with this to make it stand out. Like that might be cute. Okay. I forgot to test the big head friendliness. Let's do that real quick. So she comes past my eyebrows down to the bridge of my nose. I would say, I mean, she f still feels a little tight though. I would say she's not super big head friendly. Um, I mean, this feels tight on me. So could you get your head in there? Yeah. Is it going to be comfortable? Probably not. Again, doesn't mean you can't. So, she's not tangly at all. She's super pretty. Um, the hairline is hard to tell truly because the, you know, I didn't take the baby hairs off. It looks thick though. She looked thick. <laughs> and in this case, that's not a good thing. Um, the parting space is actually, you know, pretty deep. It said, I think four inches and it's actually pretty decent. Like it's got a bump at the, you know, on the side so that it accentuates the parting space. It makes it stand out more. Um, I personally, if I was going to keep this and wear it, I wouldn't need to feel the need to pluck it. Um, you do want to put probably powder in the part though to hide those knots. I don't think there's any lace wig where you don't have to hide the knots like ever. I don't care if it's super expensive or whatever. It just doesn't exist. That's not how this works. Um, especially because it's not, maybe if they do it like a pre-plucked, you know, if they pluck it, actually it's plucked, you know, then you just pluck all the hairs that are, have those knots right there. But that's, you know, you guys almost forgot to do the 360. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so that was the 360. All right, <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to decide what to do next, uh, whether I wanted to stop and take pictures or what. Uh, let's go to, let's look at this one, lovely lady. 
So this one is our uh, TT4, our pink. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's like going in and out today. It's Mercury retrograde, so, you know. She's cute. I did not try to match my shirt for this one, but it matches. <laughs> she matches. The clouds in the sun are going in and out. You know what? I forgot to show you guys the inside of the cap on the last one. It's retrograde. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, two combs in the front. That's a weird looking, hmm. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that before on these. There's like a... Huh. That's weird. Never seen that. Uh, and then one in the back. One in the back somewhere. There you are. And then, of course, the elastic adjusters. Let's get her on my head. Let's see if I'm going to keep her or not. I do like a pink wig, y'all. And then this one has brown, you know, roots, so I am more inclined to keep her. She's cute. Yeah, definitely keeping this one. Definitely keeping this one. See, now with a not dark color, this wave doesn't look as, I don't know. I like it better. I'm telling you, I love this spray. It's just, it's the bee's knees. <laughs> I'm not that old where I used to say that. I will say that I said, used to say cool beans. I still do sometimes. I know, cringe, cringe, cringe. Okay, let me do this. Since I'm going to keep this one, I will take this off and uh, cut the lace off for y'all. Let's do it. You know what else I say? Okie dokie artichokey, y'all. I feel so, super old some days, you know? Oop, I thought I got all the hair brushed out. Hold on. From cutting. This one was really hard to differentiate the baby hair from the regular hair. And... If you're not familiar with cutting lace fronts, it's okay if you cut some of the hair off. Um, the first time I did, long time ago, I freaked out like, oh my gosh, I cut the hair. Um, it's a lace front, so that's okay to cut some hair. You still have some hair there. <laughs> you're not gonna, like you're not gonna have a bald wig, you know. <laughs> So, and the hairs fall out, you know, just like regular hair. So, you know, you got some hair to work with there. Okay, so her lace is cut off. Again, it was hard to differentiate between the regular hair and the baby hair. So I may have missed some. We'll see. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the lace cut off. So I'll probably pluck... Not right now, but some of those first hairs, um, because it's really obvious, but you don't have to. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do it right now. I would go out like this, but that's just me, because I, while I would love, I'm going to put powder on the part for you guys. While I would love for stuff to always look realistic, you know, uh, it's not a requirement for me, um... If it doesn't look realistic, that's fine. And even when I think it doesn't look realistic, I have people go, oh my God, your hair is so amazing. And that's when you can choose to say whatever you want. You can either say, thanks, it's a wig, or thanks. <laughs> and I think... I think I'm past the winter phase where now my foundation is too light. Um, the goal, if you aren't familiar, is to match this parting space to your face. So what you do usually is match your foundation or your powder, 
you know, use the same one or buy, I buy one separate to use just for this, not the same one I use on my face. So, um, and like I literally just use this. So I'm thinking I have to get the next darker shade now. Um, okay. This is bothering me here. Um, and if you aren't familiar with lace fronts, you can, if you have like rogue hairs, you can very gently pull them. Gently. Do not yank it or you may break the lace. Rip the lace. Break the lace. Same thing. Rip it. But sometimes you have these hairs that are just, you could take it off your head, go back and cut it or whatever. But sometimes there's just hairs that like lay weird and I don't like it the way they're laying or whatever and so I'll just pull them out like so now I don't have those hairs laying there all funky so I really like this color one oh she's pretty she pretty um I turned the light on because the clouds cover came over and now the sun's going hello <laughs> All right, so I think, I think she's good. I mean, I could pluck her a little bit. Let me show you guys something, how to, uh-oh. Now I recommend doing this with it on a mannequin head, but I wanted to show you guys that you can just literally pluck these hairs. Now I can't see so great, so it's probably not a great idea for me to do this, but. So you, I don't know if you, it's going to show up on the camera, but just, I just did a couple and you can see kind of the difference. So if you do want to pluck your wigs, your lace fronts to get, you know, these knots, like basically you would pluck everything in this hairline and every knot that's showing in this hairline. So it'll look more like a realistic hairline instead of knots. I may start doing that because even though this is Lazy Girl approved, I've found a new medication. My old one was failing and it seems to be helping me. So my hands are not hurting as much. So I may be able to do that stuff. Um, okay. So let's back to the wig. It, I would say it's shedding normally. Um, I think I got all this, sh the, you know, hairs that I cut out. These look like shed hairs and not cut hairs. I'll say there's about five hairs. So regular shedding. Um, this is great because my hair is almost that color. Um, so it works for me. The ear tabs are, they're kind of low. I mean, kind of high They're They don't come you, like you'd have to pull it to kind of get it to where it is. And remember, I have a small to average head. So, um, again, I think this is not like super big head friendly. Like you can get your head in there, but don't expect it to be comfortable or to, for the lace to lay where you need it to. So there's that, but I mean, for 30, what do I say? 3149. Um, she's gorgeous. She's gorge. She's gorge. Um, and I bet you that black and lime, like neon green would be stunning. Um, the other one is not bad. It's just, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, but you know, I like special colors. So some of you might like that one. Um, I will put it up on my site for you to purchase. I'm going to create a section for the out of box wigs that I do reviews on that I'm going to sell um, so that you guys can pick them up there instead of on Poshmark where I have to pay them a fee. So I'll be able to save you guys a couple bucks because I don't have to pay them a fee. So there's that. Um, so let's do a 360 of this lovely lady. 
and then we'll do final thoughts. So I am in love with this color, not so much the other one, but absolutely this is worth $31.49. Um, I would probably pay $40 something just because if you like pink wigs, you know it's a pain in the butt to find them that look good, that have a dark root, that have a dark root and look good. Um, so I think this fits the bill, especially this like curl is super cute. So um, she is not big head friendly again you can get your big head in there but it's not going to be comfortable um and i'll do the actual measurements um and and pop it up here um she's shedding like a normal amount she's like silky on top and textured soft on the bottom she's almost silky basically um what what is her length that is a great question Did it say on there? No. I don't understand these people. This is the stuff why I'm like, I want to make my own wig brand eventually. Like, that's my goal. Because these people just like, why are you not giving details? It's so weird. So, let's make sure. We'll just say to there. So, that's like 14 inches. But... Don't quote me on that, you know what I mean? Because it's not my... I didn't make this wig. <laughs> so, so she's 14 inches of cute little loose curl. She is mostly, you know, she's cut the lace. I was going to say she's mostly throw it on and go. She's cut the lace, put some powder in the part and go. Pluck if you want to. Um, put a little product in there. Um, I like this. This is like my my go-to now. Um, it just makes it like, look at that. This side is not as tamed, so let's see. See? Lovely. It's just lovely. Just lovely. The brown does go quite a bit down on this, which I love, because again, it makes it look more realistic. Let me show you what, what she would look like to the side in case you want to do that. So this is what, oop. I will say with these pink wigs, you get these stragglers, which makes it look less realistic. I'm going to pull her because she's like weird, curly, sticking weird. Um, this is what she looked like as a side part. I kind of like that better. I think that's what I'll be doing. Yes. So this is a right side part. Let me show you left. I mean, I don't like left side parts on me, but, you know, you know, I think that's cute. Super cute. I like that. I think I'm going side part. I think I'm going side part, y'all. Um... So she's totally worth it. Totally cute. Go get her while you can. Um, she's been out for a while. I want to say like four months maybe I got her. Maybe. It might not have been that long. But it's it's when all those, all, like a whole bunch of stuff came out at the same time. And I bought that, a, a bunch of those. And then some other crazy stuff came out. And then some stuff happened in my life. So it was like, they're literally just still sitting over here. Like these... Uh, Murphy's, I haven't done those, Adelina, 
those all came out at the same time and I just haven't done them because life, because life, dude, dude. Okay. Um, and if you aren't familiar with my site, lazygirlapproved.com, I sell wigs there. You can go get some. I don't have this one on there, but I have other awesome stuff. I wanted to quickly say thank you to those of you who have purchased wigs on my site. Those of you who have supported me and those of you that have left me reviews. Thank you so much. It helps so much. So, so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you, I, you guys, your guys' support. I say it like every time, but you guys are awesome. And your support means so much to me, especially when I'm having poopy days, um, which happens sometimes, you know? So thank you guys so much. I'm going to go try to knock some of those out and then some of mine as well. So I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need, sip